Good evening, folks. This is Deb and Dave, and this is your short take. So before you see this particular video this evening, you will see one from me talking about why I'm not celebrating the 4th of July. This one is going to give you some detail about why we don't think this is a holiday that anyone should be celebrating this year. So without further ado, I'm giving it to Dave. So I know everybody's enjoying their barbecues and, and all of that. A lot of people are. And just understand, not everybody's free in this country. And I know we talk about it a lot of the time, but we are skirting very, very close to fascism. And I, I think people think that that's just rhetoric. It really isn't. If you take a look at Nazi Germany and what they did in terms of propaganda and how they demonized people, there are many people in the right wing who have been doing this for a long time, but they're getting much louder and they're being listened to much more. I have some historical information here in regards to Nazi Germany, and they were masters at spinning propaganda from anything from using uh, the lack of civil rights uh, for African Americans during, uh, during World War II against uh, colored soldiers, saying, hey, the United States is just using you as cannon fodder. Come, come give yourself up. We will feed you. You don't need to die. You need to go back to your black babies. Meanwhile, the Germans killed not only Jews, but gays and also blacks. So, and I don't know if people realize this, but homosexuality amongst men was made illegal during Nazi Germany. Not lesbianism, but lesbianism, lesbianism was not uh, condoned, let's put it this way. And a lot of women were afraid and closeted. And if they weren't closeted, they were found out and trumped up charges were put against them. And there was a lot of propaganda against gays in Nazi Germany that they were deviants and perverts and all of that kind of stuff. Where does that sound familiar? <laughs> By the way, I'd like to point out one thing about Nazi Germany. You know the famous pink triangle that right. symbolizes gay people? Well, that is what gay people were mocked with in concentration camps. That symbol came out of Nazi Germany. It wasn't pink, however, when they were mocked with it, it was black. But that's where the whole notion of the pink triangle that we use so much to identify ourselves today was originally begun. It was begun in this concentration camps of Nazi Germany. So currently, there are 77 transgender politicians in United States office at the moment. There are over a thousand LGBTQ politicians in office now, state, local, and to the best of our knowledge, there is one that has been charged with crimes and that is Stacey Lawton. And let me say one thing, first off, Stacey Lawton had been uh, accused of and charged with several crimes over years, and New Hampshire continued to elect her. What's wrong with you? First off, bomb threat, stalking someone, and now with her girlfriend, uh, uh, possessing and distributing child pornography. Her girlfriend worked at a at a daycare center, took pictures of children in compromising positions, and Stacy Lawton distributed those pictures. She will be charged and hopefully she will be prosecuted. 
Daily Caller, Patch, and Fox News, and a lot of right-wing outlets are trying to use a broad brush, of course, and say that this one person is representative of all transgender people. That is fascist, homophobic, bullshit propaganda, and everybody knows it. Okay, so we are not, let us be clear, we are not saying that this person should not be investigated, charged, and punished. We're not saying that. What we're saying is this person doesn't represent an entire group, just like the Republicans who have been caught and charged with various sex crimes, including child molestation. Dennis Hester, anybody. Or Jim Jordan, who who, who uh, covered up molestation. Matt Gates. George Santos, who has just been charged, or not charged, accused of groping a potential staffer, a volunteer who wanted to be a staffer. Okay. Let's, and, not, the, let's not forget the uh, uh, the gentleman there that's the head of CPAC. Uh, right. He is okay. in there. Yep, he's in there too. Okay. And let's not forget, uh, who was it, Mark Foley? And also Donald Trump, who bragged on Howard Stern shows uh, that because he owned uh, beauty pageants, he could just walk in the middle of a beauty pageant, a dressing room, and see all these half-naked girls and and look at them whenever he wanted to, some of them underage, by the way, and he could get away with it because he owned the pageant. And no matter, and what, yes, he, there no were matter what he tells you, he was friends with Jeffrey Epstein. They knew each other. Jeffrey Epstein procured his very first girl out of Mar-a-Lago. She was a room cleaner for, for Donald Trump. She cleaned rooms for Donald Trump's um, resort. Okay, so all of this combined, let's not forget Senator Larry Craig, one of the most virulently anti-gay people who propositioned the undercover FBI agent in the bathroom. Folks, you know what? This is more than just hypocrisy at this point. We actually have a sitting legislator who is accused of covering up the fact that a doctor at Ohio State University was molesting boys. Okay? There are at least nine of those wrestlers who have come forward and said that Jim Jordan knew about all of that stuff. So let's not go down that road. And you what? By the way, whoever, whoever does this, I don't want you to throw Anthony Weiner at me either. We know about him. He's not in office. And should should he have been prosecuted to the fullest? Yeah. Yeah. Anyone who does this, no one should be treated any differently. And to to paint a broad brush against a group of people is not just hypocrisy, it's fascism, and it's 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 bashing a group. To, uh, to suppress representation, by the way, which we will be talking about in the long show. So you you tell me, you, Ed, you tell Deb that right now she should celebrate Independence Day because she, she's free. You know what I'm going to tell you? No, never mind. Never mind. I don't want to say it. <laughs> I want to say, okay. hey, you're free. It's it's your Independence yeah. Day, Deb. Go yeah, ahead. It sure is. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, like I said, you know, I I had somebody, and I said this in the the video I did this afternoon. Um. So, people, somebody threw in my face today that, well, you know. They did protect same-sex marriage, and I responded to them, yes, they, they actually did. But what people need to understand is, and I've got the notes right here, 
Um, Same-sex marriage was protected when the Democrats had control of the House. Right. That was in December of 2022, before the new House was sworn in. And I can promise you right now, right now, that if this House were in power, that never would have happened. Never would have happened. Okay? So this is what people need to understand. That was past history. Okay? So yes, they protected same-sex marriage. Right. Deb and I have been saying for years since we since we partnered up on on this show that civil rights should not be should not be in the equation. It shouldn't be negotiated. It should be you should have them. Period. Because this is what happens. It's circumstantial. One year you might have them because the Democrats are in power, and another year you might not have them because the Republicans are in power. No. They need to be absolute. Deb and I have been fighting for that for since, what, 2019, I think. At least. At least. And that's that's what we're moving toward. And there's no way, no way in hell that the right wing is going to do that because they paint certain groups like LGBTQ as deviants, just like Nazi Germany did. And if they go after uh, go after LGBTQ, don't be surprised when they come after you for something that you do that they don't like. Oh, well, that's what I got. That's what I got. And And you know what? This is a statement that gets made often. Nobody's free unless anybody, everybody's free. Right. There is, there is truth in that. Um, what affects you know, one affects us all. It does. And and you know what? Sooner or later, they're going to fight. You know, so I, I said this in my previous video, and I'll say it again in this one. The only people right now who are free in America are straight, cisgendered white men. Okay? that That's it right now. Okay? And, you know, should you folks deviate from any beliefs that the MAGA controlled government may have, they will not hesitate to come for you either. Whether you are a cis straight gendered white male uh, and you support gay people or transgender people, they could come after you too, even though you're not gay or transgender. Understand that. This... Look at what happened to Adam Warren. Exactly. Adam Warren was, was let go based on something he said. Right. And he's a cisgender white male, which we'll talk about. <laughs> yes. And and um, and just let me say <laughs> in closing that this mess that we are in right now, this government, what you are seeing in a microcosm with the House. OK, we may have the Senate. All right. We should not have lost the House. You are looking at in the House a micro you're getting a micro look at what your world will look like on a big scale. Should you fail to take the house back and should you concede the Senate? This, they are serious. This is not a drill and this is not a joke. None of this is a joke. And that's all I got. And we will see you on the big show.